Check, check, check. Testing our microphone here. That's how we do it. We say check, check, check. I think we're at the show. The show is on the road, ladies and gentlemen. This is the disembodied voice of Howard starting. This is, this is awesome. It's Buffalo News Night here. Welcome. Hi. You're live on WBIG TV. Wait, pardon me? You're live on WBIG oh. TV. Well, this is this is a wonderful surprise. You look great. Well, well, thanks. You look so do you. Oh, well, thanks. So do you. Good to see you again. Nice to see you. You guys could sit wherever you want. Where are we going to sit? Why don't you sit bridge turn? Oh, okay. The VIP table? <laughs> they seem to like be attracted to the VIP table there. <laughs> the one we reserved. You know, it's very handsome. Yeah, it's really With a the, nice uh, room. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. If they don't put too much junk in, it's going to look. If they don't put us what? Junk in. Yeah. Junk in? Junk. Junk in. Put junk in here? Yeah. I'm the, I'm the so junk. So how you been? Excellent. Great. Are you kidding? We're having a ball. Okay. To explain why you're headed with this. You yeah. Yeah. What else do you need? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We get to throw a party every right, yeah. every now, every right now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Who's our chap? Doug Jamal. Okay. You know, I didn't. I knew it, and I forgot. That's it. the connection. Because we're, he liked us at the Statler, and they closed the Statler for a couple of years of yeah, remodeling. Yeah, remodeling, right? And he said, "We must keep the institution alive." <laughs> I like him already. Sounds like my doctor. Yeah, right. <laughs> you look marvelous, Harvey. Oh, well, thank you. Very nice. Oh, now we're live. Okay, where is it? I'm waiting to see if I could see it. Hi, everybody. I'm here with Janice Oaken. I feel very important. Here we are. Oh, definitely. Janice is here to review. <laughs> the marvelous, marvelous music I will be hearing. Yes, yeah, yeah. she's, she's taken, she's now the music critic. She yeah. was a food critic. Yeah. But uh, something I'll happened. I'll criticize anything. What happened, to the, what happened to that music critic? Yes. They got rid of her, right? Yeah. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> she works for WBIG TV now. What does she do on there? WB, that's my fake TV thing oh. for my live stream. Oh, but it's so earning so real. You know, we're actually going to do a radio interview. We were asked to do an interview with um, WXOV or something. I don't know whether it's um, well, it's in New York City. And it's a show, a long-running show about cabaret. Oh, yeah. And they've got yeah, all these right. big, all the top name cabaret acts. Guys, I, I recognize them all. They're like, great. I know. You know, and then somehow... Somehow we wiggle warm down to the show. And where, and where will it be? It's, a, it's, it's going to be live, um, live radio in New York, but hopefully streamed. Yeah. Probably is. I hope so. Um, yeah. It's Sunday night at uh, I think six. This coming? Yeah. They're going to interview. I got Mary on to too, so to be a little bit of legitimacy to the interview. <laughs> Jersey. Well, you know, picky, picky, picky. I, 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 it'll be it'll be more fun too. Yeah, right. it's going to be a blast. Great. So, this so anyway, this this uh, nonsense, nonsense becomes reality. Okay. You know, like if you pretend, you know how they say. Is the is the opposite also true? You can pretend, and make things go away. <laughs> pretend, I, pretend yeah. I'm not here right now. Yeah, it probably work eventually. Right. But, um, you know, we've been doing this, this nonsense for years, and now it's like you're really, um, I guess they look so good. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why I look so good. This is Jackie Jocko's tie. One of them. They bring, they bring me the, the thing. You know? I don't know. 
I don't know exactly. It's been a few years. Yeah, maybe I think five years, maybe. But uh, he's with us. He's with us with right him. this minute. He definitely is. He's got his piano. This is, he got his piano. Yeah, let's see this. Remember, remember the stuff on his piano? I do. Well, to our surprise, when we started, we didn't know this was going to happen. They unlocked it for us, and it's Jocko's piano. I've been looking for this piano for years. I didn't know where it went. What is on this? Are these music? Are those? That's all. Jocko wrote all that stuff. Jocko, oh, don't ever take it. Over the, no. Ever, ever, ever. Oop. Right. Put yourself on here. It's dangerous to touch anything around here. Oh, it definitely is here. Yeah. And we've got his tables and chairs. Those are, now, you you should remember these as a professional. What? As a professional food critic. All right. Those, those are the E.B. Green tables and chairs. Is this, how many, is this 88 keys? Why does it not look yeah. like that to me? Well, because one of them's covered up. You're good. She has perfect pitch. What? Janice? Yeah. She knew that one key couldn't, was Yeah, I really, look at the pedals. My God, I really see, I haven't seen pedals like that. Those are, Mrs. Yeah. Katie. May she rest in What she wrote. Anyway. Mrs. Katie was your teacher? Yes. And she would, not, and she will not rest in peace because she Janice Oaken do does everything. Be... Everything in show business, Janice Oaken does. Yeah. She was yeah, going to be a I, dancer, I and they said we need a restaurant reviewer. She goes, I do that too. <laughs> the rest is history. What's a good restaurant? Okay, what's your favorite That's why she restaurant? Does have you gotten that one? Yeah, it's really nice. felt that way. I never really felt that way. Show me something. That's his handwriting. Skylark. Yeah, Skylark. Bojangles. This in itself is one. It's a... Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Can I touch it? <laughs> of course, you're Janice Oaken. You can touch the piano. There she goes. There's keys. Mrs. Mrs. Katie taught her how to do that. Mrs. Katie. Mrs. Katie. You know who else was his, one of her pupils? I disliked him. I never really actually met him. But I disliked him intensely because he always practiced and I never did. And I always heard about it. Well, Doug Turner's had that piece and he had it all perfect. Doug Turner. Crash. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I love it. So I wonder why he did this. Why would he have done this? I'm never well, sure. You know, I never I never asked him. It's a Yamaha. I guess that's kind of fun just not knowing. Yeah. I mean, I imagine at first it was just so to help him remember like lists of songs. Yeah. Oh. So he wouldn't have to even look up, you know. That's just what I'm guessing. Um, or maybe maybe those are songs to remind him like of people that walk in the room. Because it is hard to remember. He often did that. Yeah. Every, a lot of people, if you really were, you know. Yeah. He knew you. If you were big. Yeah. You, you had your own theme song. Urban restaurant critic and Mary's working with the station. You guys are okay. No, we're, we've never been better. We're on a blast. Right? Good, good, good. Yeah. Good, good. Glad to hear. Okay, I can't wait to hear this. Terrific. How does the music sound in here? Horrible. It's me playing it. No. Oh, the acoustics. With the. It's acoustics, good. Acoustics, yeah. No, they sound good. You know the music travels people people mention how much they like the way it tr yeah. travels through the, the wood. building yeah that's what i'm just thinking they said it's comfortable you know yeah wonderful piano new carpet <laughs> isn't that nice which you probably desperately needed yes and it, it sort of um suggests like the lake erie i think right this pattern you can say so like the globe in the lobby and the globe right echoes the globe in the right. lobby right right that's terrific. Well, All right. Thank, thank goodness Janice Oaken is giving us five stars so far on the building and the, the carpeting. Can't do anything yet. <laughs> Any more than that. She, right yes, now. you can tell. You ask the good you know, acoustics. Nobody asks about acoustics, you know. People are clueless well, about that was acoustics. My first but that's. She's got that very high. Of course. 
and nothing to bounce off. Well, but you like know what? Glass. There's a, there's a lot of angles. Yeah. So right, right. Um, and these yeah. all these beams and things, mm -hmm. and I think it, um, I think that's good for the sound. Yeah. You know, oh, I when there's think. a lot of planes. So the things don't all bounce at the same time, you know? <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's great. All right. See so if we have any. see the old building, see? Yeah. You, know, you remember that tall building that they took I know. Over? Isn't that beautiful? And I'm so glad they left it. I it's really probably think. cast iron or something, right? Well, I'm sure it is. Greetings from Denmark from Vicki Lawrenson. Nice to have you with us, Vicki. I was hoping you'd be here tonight. You're watching Janice Oaken, who's uh, a really big deal in Buffalo. See? And George Barry Moore, our very own Dr. Barry. All right. How are you, sir? He's... Okay, I'm going to sit down. Vicki's lost. You're we'll lost. find her. She's lost. I think this thing is um, way behind. I knew two, th I find two things I did not know. There's a Starbucks here in the lobby, which is good to know, since I sort of live in the neighborhood. And Dragon Express? Okay, I'm looking at Main Street. Okay. Now, the, what, the feed I'm watching, it's a really long delay. I don't know if, I don't know, that might, be, might have been a problem with my phone. See, to get my mind off yeah. all the challenges of me, me making music, I've got all this technology to juggle, which just is... I like the coffee cup. I, complete with cup. Yeah, I've got... All set to go. Yeah, I am. Very good. I like a routine. I like it, you know, where you can get things really dialed in. And that's what we've got here. You lost weight. Oh, Janice, thank you. Didn't you? Well, I hope so. Is haircut? Is that what's making me? It's good. Keep it. Well, thanks. I've been trying to As long as you can keep the hair, keep the cut. Oh, well, I cut it myself, you know. I cut buds, but it's disastrous. It really is disastrous. So when you get start getting older, like, you know, I'm starting to qualify. Starting, yeah. You could, like, give yourself a bad haircut and, like, you can sort of skate with it, you know. But I... I can usually pull it off pretty good, especially if nobody looks too closely. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, I'm going to sit down and you should Great. practice. <laughs> I'm going to do a little practicing. All right. I'm going to tune in lounge piano. again. Is it in really nice shape? It's a be beautiful piano. It's a great sounding <laughs> piano. Are these keys? No, no, they're plastic. They're but plastic? It, yeah, but it's a nice. There's just one. The C is a little out of tune. I would never know. Don't tell me. It's just a little round sounding, but um, I just haven't I have, got. I haven't gotten here early enough to tune it. I have a keyboard, which I suppose, which I was going to get and practice at, and it's kind of fun, but it's nothing like a piano. No. No. It's a full, full keyboard. For real. But it's. I know. I know. The keyboards like, are getting nice. They're getting. They're getting really amazing. You know. Yeah. Um, I think but, but I still like just, I'd rather have like a crummy piano than a, than like a great keyboard. I know. I but that's just me. But not everybody agrees with me. No. And I wish I wish I didn't agree with you. they're getting better and better. They are. Yeah. They used to be terrible. But now But you don't look cool playing them. No. Right? You're sitting there and put guys' legs, you know, your yeah, legs are like off. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> true. <laughs> it's terrible. All you look. see is that spread and the people, man spread. <laughs> Whether it's a woman or a man, you know, where I, with a piano, it's it's like you look. Yeah, you're. It enhances. It enhances your natural beauty when you're at a piano. Exactly. I couldn't have put it better. And this is. I don't know what this is, but it's wonderful shiny. It's a Yamaha. Yeah, I know. It's, I noticed it underneath. Okay. I just lost. Customers are coming. Okay. I just lost my. Make them see, they come up and they look a little like 
Yeah. They look a little frightened and like shocked and scared. And then we, we just like turn them into like putty. <laughs> Okay, now we're on the main mics, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Howard. It's great to be with you. It's great to be anything, isn't it? There's a, every week is an experiment. As you see, you're looking at uh, some new camera angles tonight. I've got one that's looking over my, just over my entire me. Um, I thought that would give you a, a good view of the, the people that are sitting around the piano um, when they when they when they do that, and we'll just see how it works out. Um, you can also see my haircut from the back. I'm, uh, let me know how the sound is, because that's this this week's experiment is I'm running the sound differently. Um, I'm actually using a, an audio mixer for the first time instead of running it uh, digitally through USB. I'm, I'm manhandling the microphone right now, which is what all that noise is. I'm trying to get the mic closer to me because I know that I know that helps. Okay, we'll see how this is. I need I need a longer cord for it next week. But uh, let me know, because what I'm doing now is I'm combining two microphones into the mix um, through this uh, little mixer I picked up. Because the reason I'm doing this is I was happy with the, the way it was picking up me, but I wanted to pick up the lounge cadets now so that, because this is reality TV, and we want, uh, we want you to hear their conversations and things. So we got a, we got a really uh, anxious crowd here. There's people, like even in the bleachers. So uh, okay. So, so who's with us here? Nick Otto's here. We can start. <laughs> that was it. See you next week. Sean's here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do a few touch and goes pilots here. It's usually touch and go. Anyway, I see Ryan Lysars is here, president of WBIG TV. Nice to see you, Ryan. Nice to see you. We got uh, quite a bit. We've got from, uh, from Denmark. We've got our own Vicky. She's with us from Virginia. We've got. She's from Virginia. No, from Virginia we have Nick Otto. Oh, I now it looks like you may have gotten a, a fresh haircut. Perhaps. Our own Patrick Murphy is up here making everything beyond perfect. So Ryan. Uh, I've been holding out on some secret information for you. Is it so secret that you're going to broadcast it to the whole world? I'm going to tell you now. Because greetings. Make yourselves comfortable. You know where everything is. There's nothing like learning secret information. Well, I would have told you, but then in case you didn't come tonight, I wanted it to be built in punishment. You know, for everybody, not just you, but especially you, because we need you here. Um, you may notice we've got a lot of uh, Buffalo news people here tonight, but that's just a coincidence. 
because I got a message from the Augusto editor, and she's sending down a photographer tonight for Augusto story. It's a good thing you look really good. coincidence that Janice Oaken is here tonight. She was great. We were talking and she was like, the, the questions she asked and everything. Oh, thank you, sir. Are you friends with Sean? Or are you? I hope I am. He's got a lot of pull around here. You know? That's I don't know if anybody has that much pull. I don't know if Mark Croce could have even done that. I think this is our seventh week. Is it our seventh week? That sounds about right. Yeah, we were at the Statler for, for 11 years. The whole time that uh, during the Croce administration. In the lobby, Friday nights, we did happy hour. Yes. Yeah, we love it here. Really? Wow, Grace. You did a good job. Loves it. So that was um, under Paul Snyder. Yeah. He's a boatload. To, he's a lot of fun to work for. <laughs> he's he's a brilliant man. COVID wiped out a lot of good businesses. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. That's huge. Temperatures come to You don't want to just get on it right away. Something could break. Nice to see you, Nick Otto. Hey, Nick Otto. Um, ask you some questions about the sound. I've got extra microphones set up, so I want, you to, I want you to tell me if you can hear the gentleman who's talking at the end of the piano and Ryan. Can you hear their conversation? I just can't, I haven't been up in a while. I can't believe I'm turn their mic up. Cheers, Lounge Nation. Cheers back. Cheers. 
gentleman named
WBIG TV, which is the streaming company, Ryan Lysars. Yes. Nice to meet you. And you already know Sean. Get out the answer his mom. Did you? You're his mom? Yes. Well, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I thought he just met you at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> He does this to us all the time. <laughs> they're all they're all his mom. <laughs> Do they get free parking? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Tell them it's on Mark Croce. <laughs>
do very well here. Yeah, and if you're lucky, maybe I can bring my mom <laughs> later be, this month. That'd be great. Mom, for, for, for the, great good, the Good Friday episode. Yeah, that'd be great. That's why everything goes She's threatening to come. I mean, she said she's going to have.
know. Does it seem that way? It does. That shows we got a good routine going. When the rain on my spring, he's in stormy weather. Something like that. Sunny weather. Sunny weather. Well, that would make sense. Guess I'm going to have to work.
my joke mic up a little more now. Now that people have a little food in them. Fair is fair. I'll be drinking out of an official Lounge Cadet mug tonight. You can see. Part of our brand, line of branded, branded stuff. It's important to be well hydrated when you're when you're entertaining other entertainers like this. Here comes Sean's photographer. camera angles for Bill Jenkins. This camera angles for you, Bill Jenkins. Welcome 
pictures will look better. demands we're going to be making of the uh, management of the Buffalo News here at the Guild meeting. I feel like I'm at one. It's like an old home day for the, for the news. I miss those days. Mary bringing home those big paychecks. requested by Gary Marino and I won't and he can't get me to stop playing it I sigh cold it I'm sentimental so I walk in the rain I've got some Could start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and I'll daydream. I've got daydreams galore. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends, leave the keys in the door. Why try to change? try to change me.
Thank you. Who remembers that song? Nobody? I wrote it. Actually, Cy Coleman wrote that one. He could write a song. Stand on my head or something. Whatever it takes. When there's a camera around, anything's possible. <laughs> well, officially till 7:30, but it, usually, usually we go for lots of times like another hour. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's very effective when it gets dark. I'm going to miss it in the summertime. When those buildings start lighting up, it's, it's spectacular. Yeah, it's, yeah you're, you're right about that. That's the shot, yeah. No, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could steal them out of one of those boxes. You pay for one, and then you take the whole staff. I know all the tricks because I married a reporter. That's going to be the name of my book. I married a reporter. for George Kunz. He's back at the executive table with the president. Thanks for that information, Bill. See, that, that's what I want to know, uh, the mix. In fact, you reminded me to. Press a couple of buttons. Thank you. OK, what I'm going to do then is, uh, okay, let, let me know if this is any better, Bill Jenkins.
Nice to see you, buddy. What's new? What's new with Bill Gates and Warren Buffett? How is the world treating you? Me too. romance come through. We haven't talked since then. Gee, but it's great to see Marino again. What's new? Seeing you is grand, and you were sweet to offer your hand. I understand. Ah, oh, do. It's called What's New. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That came from the show business table. It was for Buddy. Maybe I'll play one from another Buddy. A man called Buddy Love. He was the alter ego of Jerry Lewis in The Nutty Professor. Look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. We made this for you. I didn't know you were a balloonist. Well, I'm not a balloonist man. A balloonist man? Was, like it, like was it our clown? It's was actually it? a small hat. It's a suit. You should be able to pose for it. It's a he's playing the piano. Oh, I'm supposed to wear that? Just for a moment. Well, this will be perfect. Where's... <laughs> Just for a moment here. Here you go. Here's the shot. Right. Oh, 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 all the way down. Oh, see, I didn't even get that right. How did you do it if you have to wear that? What did you do? See, this will be the money shot. Can you still play? Of course. I couldn't play before. What? I'd like to do a slow emotional ballad now. And Marino, the thrill is gone when your lips. This is a very emotional song for me. I wish, hope everybody can appreciate it. Touch mine brings back a lot of memories. I'm afraid the way things were before the masquerade. This 
song always makes me cry. When your lips, when your lips touch mine, I'm afraid the masquerade. So is love. And so is love. I guess I'll have to play. Ayachi. And get myself a clown's disguise. song brings back so many sad memories. You can probably tell by the expression on my face. It's hard to hide it. Oh, what's this doing on my head? Need a needle? Yeah. That looks like something Gary Mooney could make. He's a professional clown. Gary Mooney's the only guy I know that can make something like that. enough serious music. Take my clothes off. <laughs> Cole Porter? Okay. No, he, would, he wouldn't have done that. All right, we got some Cole Porter coming up. It's the wrong time. It's not her face, but such a charming face that it's all right, all right with me. It's the wrong song in the wrong style. What smile is lovely? It's the wrong smile. It's not her smile, but such a lovely smile that it's all right, all right with me. You can't know how happy I am that we met. I'm strangely attracted to you. I'm trying so hard to forget It's you I want to forget 
get someone to was from Can Can. Yeah. Thank you. That was It's All Right with me, by Cole Porter from Can Can. Could have seen some high kicks to that one. Right? They don't do the Can Can anymore. Yeah. I think we're going to see some can-can dancing coming up soon. Big shout out to, shout out to Joe Wall. He's the electrician's electrician. I think he's the guy they call. You ever deal with Wall? Uh, W-A-H-L. Electrical contracting. Is the company still going or did you all retire, Joe? I know you retired. They made enough money, but they leave some to the other guys. I painted his 59 Corvette for him once back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, I used to paint. Painting is great. No, I just did it for myself. I did, um, I did a lot of Corvettes. 
I did were the best that I could remember. And then I did just some normal cars for, for people that needed, you know. I used to do lacquer, hand rubbed lacquer. That was hard to do. Those guys got it made now. Yeah. They got nothing to complain about. Yeah, I used to do it in, in my parents' garage in Tonawanda. That's the way it was. It's like you'd go up and down the, the block. You know, it was your typical suburban block, and like everyone had an opera, some kind of automotive operation going. <laughs> a certain specialty, you know. So you could get your whole car restored if you wanted to without leaving the block. <laughs> with myself when I think back and think about how there was no YouTube at the time. You know, you had to just like ask people questions and buy the the, the, uh, the DuPont books and figure that out. Yeah. Yeah, talk about the school of hard knocks. Boy, those are big mistakes you make when you're painting a car. Yeah, oh, sure. Except in marriage. See, I got married and that was not a mistake. So, you know, I didn't learn a damn thing. I'm just as foolish as I was. I do, yeah, I do. I've got some uh, AMC cars. I still got some cars I had back in the day. My, my, yeah, yeah. I've got 390s, 401s. Yeah, I've got the first one I had, I still have, um, that I got when I was 17. Um, you know how hard, hard it is to hold on to a car through the various phases of your life. By anything, you know, you got. I mean, that thing has seen more garages, you know. Than, <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's a 71. And what's unique about it is, it was in, I bought it in Alabama, I went down there to get it, it was an Alabama State Trooper Chaplain. It was like the first pony car police car that was that was in service. And they're killer, 401, it's got a spoiler in the back and stuff. So that's what got me started, automatic, yeah. Ford Warner M12 cast iron, big heavy thing. I bought a few more AMC's along the way, just figuring, you know, when I retired, I'd, I'd have something to do. But now that I'm retired, I'm too busy to work on them. So now I can't even walk in my shop. It's all full of these things. I bought a, I bought a 69 AMX 394 speed. Um, so it's, all, it's a survivor, you know. It's a good, good little car. It's a lot of the original paint and stuff. And, uh, um, no, this one's, um, it's a, it's a uh, copper color. What do they call it? Uh, bitter, bittersweet orange. It's a pretty color, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were. They were so much fun. Yeah, they always show like oil, oil pressure, but I don't know, they seem to... I see. I bought some extra ones. I've got some of those colors. I, don't, I only drive to the inspection station once a year, so I don't think I'm going to wear them out. In fact, I'm due. I might do it tomorrow if I could catch Joe in his shop. I actually have, I, ha I, ha I own a registered car shop. That's how bad my hobby got, that I, I actually registered it. But I, I don't, uh, I did 
did it just long enough to like check that box. You know, I always wanted to see what it would be like. Here's one of my, one of my old clients, balloon man, Dave Corbett. I did a lot of work on his car. That's why I retired. It's great having you back, Dave. Were you on Rolls Royce business? He, did, he collects Rolls Royces. Oh, you got arrested? Wow, that, I can understand that. You didn't want to lose one of those. Sandra Jean, you're watching Lounge Academy. See that Nick on? You know what that's for? That's for gusto. write that one. He wishes he did. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. I like the theater and never come late. I never bother with people I hate. That's why the lady is a trick. I don't like crap games with women and girls. Won't go to Harlem and women and girls. We'll ditch the dirt. Oh, with the rest of the girls. the green, fresh, ooh, grass under my shoe, what can I woo, I'm flat, and that's that, I'm all alone, when I lower my lamp, that's why the lady Rogers and Hearts. Oh, thanks, Bill. I changed the, the levels. The drinks are flowing here at Lounge Academy.
Things are moving so fast they need an escalator. That's from Shall We Dance. Thank you. That was a Gershwin tune. Wonderful seeing you. There they go. The Mod Squad. Where are you headed? Maybe we'll catch up with you later. Pan Am, oh, nice place, yes. It's beautiful over there by Hoyt Lake. Right where all the salt was poured into the lake by the uh, brother of the old mayor, Delano. <laughs> Nobody's safe here at Mount Academy. But good memory though, is that who it was? So those are fond memories for Buffalo, but we cherish those things. Firewood. <laughs> Diane knows where all the bodies are buried. Alex Leonard. We're on about a, like a 30 minute delay for some reason. I think I had the bit rate set too high earlier. Yeah, this is like a half hour delay I'm watching it myself, so it's a little.
girls just ripe for some kissing are you allowed to do this anymore and I mean to kiss me a few oh those girls don't know what they're missing I've got a lot of living to do and there's wine already for tasting and Cadillacs all shiny and new gotta move cause time's a wasting a lot of living to do there's music to play places to go people to do or see everything for you and me life's a ball if only know it it's all all just waiting for you show it Ooh, it's such a lot of living Soon it's gonna we're gonna transition into the beautiful nightscape that this room really comes comes to life under when they start lighting up those beautiful buildings out there. The people in here start getting lit up a little too by then. every time one of those lights turns on. They knew, they knew a guy. ever done this one, Diane? You may have done this one. Walked right in. It's a little rangy. It's a little low, but that's okay. We love it. Walked right in and drove the shadows away. Walked right in and brought my sunniest day. said hello though not a word was spoken one look and all I got was gloom of the past written song. That's from the Goldwyn Follies by, Ger by Gershwins. No wonder. 1937. 
Seems like yesterday. shout out in about a half hour because of the, the weird time delay. This song is called Lucky to be Me. I'm so lucky to be me. What a nice suddenly you came in sight. Came just the I'm so lucky to be me. And this change in my luck I'm so proud you chose me from all the crowd there's no other guy I'd rather be I'm so lucky so lucky Music by Leonard Bernstein. What a pedigree. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Lyric by Betty Comden and Adolph Green. Not a lot of Adolphs around anymore for some reason. That name kind of went out of style. But, but this was Adolph Green helped write the lyrics. Remember the Tenderizer? great stuff. <laughs> I think you could get anything down the drain if you use some of that stuff. It softens it right up. I wonder what was in that stuff. Lie? What do you think it was? Battery acid. for George Kunz. He likes to keep a low profile. He gets tired of people making a big deal out of him. George, come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. The hip hurrah, the belly hoo. The lullaby of Broadway. The rumble of the subway train, the rattle of the taxi, the 
daffodils that entertain that Angelo's and Maxie's when a Broadway baby says goodnight it's early in the morning Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn That was Gold Diggers of 1935. That was back, I think they were on the gold standard back in 1935, right? So when they say Gold Diggers, they were after the real stuff. Now we're all Gold Diggers. Also in Australia. We got Australia turning tuning in tonight. And Denmark.
Thank you, Ryan. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Enjoyed, enjoyed, you, enjoyed your visit a lot. Please come back soon. I'll save that spot for you. I want to hear more about Sean next time. Pictures, the decent ones. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be some people here for the pictures. take a little powder my nose break because when the sun goes down then he's going to start shooting pictures again I don't, I don't want to look like I'm like experiencing hello, welcome to Lounge Academy I've never seen anybody leave so quickly I think she's running down to quick get a drink before these seats are taken I think so After this, yeah, you can sing sing Nick's song. I'll be right back, everybody.
This next set is for Diane. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm back. Don't tell anybody. Oh, thank you. For you, of course, Diane. <laughs> you know, watch yourself around here. There goes George Kunz, ladies and gentlemen. How about another round of applause for George Kunz? I saw him trying to sneak out. Oh, you should bring her over. I haven't seen her in forever. I haven't seen Barbara. Welcome to Lounge Academy. If you're here or watching at home, you're still you're a lounge cadet. Ex officio. By virtue of Anacana, there's a legal Latin term. We got a lot of lawyers here. seen so many hungry people. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, George Kunz, he's taking an encore, a second, a second foul. Great to see you, George. Say hi to Barbara for me. He happens to be my brother-in-law. You can tell. You can tell by the resemblance. <laughs> resemblance to Mary, not me. Although they say, you know, if you're if you're married long enough, or is that what they say about pets? You start to look like each other. All three of us. Mary and me and the cat are all starting to look alike. <laughs> Finish each other's sentences. He goes B, and then we say Mao. Then he gets mad and says, "You don't know how to even say that." Having the home cadets with like a half hour time delay. It's like time travel. Oh, that's going to be wild, David Vernon. It could be the last show on the air. And it will, it will not be difficult at all to fill two hours with Ari Silverstein. That's what the show is about, isn't it? Ari Silverstein. We're talking to David Vernon. He's not. But I'm thinking of, you know, that's all I wanted to talk about on that radio interview. I mean, there's nothing more interesting than Ari Silverstein. And it's something everybody can relate to because everybody in New York knows Ari Silverstein. Valentine, sweet comic Valentine, that was for her. you make 
make me smile with your heart. Your looks are laughable, unphotographable. from Babes in Arms. Did you know that? Walt Zucker. Rogers and Hart? Okay. Rogers and Hart? They wrote some great stuff. We're going to find some great Rogers and Hart. comes a sweet light. Yeah. Wow, you got coal. <laughs> Must have threatened to take all your money out. <laughs> sure does. There's a spotlight that comes on on the top to light up the top. It's going to kick on for you any minute. No, there is. Watch. Yeah, you've only photographed that building a zillion times.
I took one look at you. That's all I meant to do. And then my heart stood still. My feet could step and walk. My lips could move and talk. And yet my heart stood still. Yet not a single word was spoken. I could tell you knew that unfelt glass of hands told me so well. song by Roger Zanotti. A single word was spoken I could tell you knew that our clasp of hands told me so well you knew I never lived at all until the thrill of that moment when my heart Rogers and Hart, by request. That was from Connecticut Yankees. What a cool place to work. Was that when it was downtown? Yeah, and she used to play the music to the different people. She used to some uh, music to Perkins, the guy from uh, Mutual Omaha, when he was the zoo guy, the, the director of the zoo. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Mutual Omaha. Yeah, we'll think Perkins. of it. We'll think yeah. of it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Perkins. That was a great show. Yeah. Marlon Perkins. Oh, now you're now you're now you're getting into the weeds. Thank you. I was just well, I was just taking a picture of the photographer. That's a wonderful balloon. Don't hand. you see the resemblance? <laughs> <laughs> He does comedy, too. <laughs> Nothing's better than a funny news photog. Takes a sense of humor. That's, a, that's an awesome rig. Look at the size of that lens. Let's bring a lot of light in. Want me to look at the camera for a couple? It's toasted. I am toasted. The toast? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. You're, you're, you're the best audience. Wait, let me get the right. 
I need the branded mug. That's the one they'll wind up using. The one from the phone. Do a video. Oh, Do a video. A video. Oh, great. Hey, let me get your. Uh, your Academy, right, Diane? Doesn't get better than this. We need to this. I haven't tried those tricks yet. We'll get to them, though. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Nice to see Walt Zucker out there. Well, that'll be wonderful, Walt. Looking forward to seeing you. It's wonderful just seeing you here on Lounge Academy. Be even better in person. If I don't see her each day, I miss her. Gee, what a thrill. Each time I kiss her, believe me, I've got a case. It's summer. was singing hear her say hello I swear to goodness I can't resist her here's the best line of the song sorry for you she has no sister Silvers. Phil Silvers wrote the uh, lyrics. Got credit for the lyrics on that. Go figure. Yeah, yeah. What a character he must have been. One of those old vaudeville, vaudeville guys that went into television, right? starry sky nice work if you can get it then you can get it if you try strolling with the one girl sigh after sigh nice work if you can get it then you can get it if you try just imagine someone cottage door where two hearts become one you could ask for 
knows that song, right? But do they know what it's from? Do they know that it's from Damsel in Distress? Gert, another great Gershwin tune, 1937. <laughs> kids on Instagram. Click, 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 click. It's fun. That's what's good about being a megalomaniac. You never, you never get enough publicity or attention. It all works out. the beautiful nightscape is coming out. I mean, those are the shots. Wait till the tower lights up. I hope the guy remembered to turn on the power at the tower. It is the light tower, for Christ's sake. They should have it lit up. They light that thing up for every, for whatever cause de jour. They've got the color scheme for it. Which is nice, you know. It's nice to be topical like that. You don't have to read the paper. You just look and see what colors are flashing on the tower. This is a patriotic song. You don't. You can stand up if you want to, but it's it's not required. Some people just can't help it. It's a beautiful Gershwin tune from. 1931 from Of The I Sing, and the name of the song is Of The I Sing. It was a spoof, the show was a spoof on political elections. It shows you how much things don't change, you know. Same gags work now. From the island of Manhattan to the coasts of gold, from north to south, east to west, you are the love, I love the best. A dream I've sought both night and day for years through all the USA. The star I've hitched my wagon to is very obviously you.
Great patriotic sounding song. Clever. From the Gershwins, from the show of the I Sing. I see one light on at the tower over there. Some light kind of doing nothing. out to everybody who's about to lose all their money. Once I lived the life of a millionaire Spent all my money Didn't have any cares Took all my friends out Champagne wine. Then I began to fall so low. Lost all my good friends, nowhere to go. If I could get my hands on that dollar. to it till that old eagle grins nobody knows you when you're down and out in your pocket not one penny As for friends, guess what? You haven't any. When I get back on my feet again, everybody wants to be your long lost friend. I said it straight without any doubt. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you when you're down and out. So true, isn't it? goes out to my stockbroker. Everybody looks so glamorous with the beautiful 
missile lighting up behind you. Look at that. See, now that's the shot the photographer should have got. But he needs me to tell him what it says up here. Those are the steps to success over there, right? That's what it says on the, you ever see that? On the steps of that bank? Real old fashioned. Um, it says steps to success on the steps when you're walking in the front door. I think there used to be another line on there too. Like what? No, I, I mean, yeah, it would be. It was something like, you know, if you walk up these steps or something. You know. An old timer told me about that. About going there to save his money every week. He died very wealthy. Left his family nothing. that part up. They're all living it up. ever been down and out? Anybody has down and out periods in their life, right? Or they should. I wouldn't trust anybody that hasn't been dragged through the through the field a few times, right? Because that's, you know, that's how you find out what's what. It's easy to be, you know, it's easy to have your act together when everything's great. Well, for some people it is. Not you? No, you, no, you, yeah. Yeah. I got a, I don't know what you said, but it looked like it was waxing wisdom. Here's a song they always play at uh, telethons. At least that's what I always think of when I when I hear this one. On a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see who who you are. On that clear day. shines every star you'll feel part of every mountain sea and shore you can hear from far and near a word you've never heard before and on that clear day
song, song that holds up. Thank you. Burton Lane and uh, Ellen J. Werner. Werner and Lane. That's right, Dave Corbett's back in town. Did he sneak out of here? He forgot his balloon man. very clear. Here's the last Gershwin song that they wrote together. Actually, they wrote it when he died. And then, uh, yes. I, when George died, I never finished it up. It's kind of sad. You know? It's very clear Our love is here to stay and a day The radio and the telephone and the movies that we know may just be passing fancy and in time may go But oh my dear, our love is here to stay. Together we're going a long, long way. In time, the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay, but our love is here, here to stay, ooh yeah. Gershwin and Gershwin from the Goldwyn Follies. What a great song. It's kind of sad, too, you know, when you understand the circumstances of it. It's probably why it's so good. It's how, why it was written. At least the words. Fisher here, George, Barry Moore. Song. I 
got to do it because Buddy's here. This one's for Buddy. It's, it's from another Buddy, Buddy Love. I'll play out with it. Up at dawning, sleepy and yawning, still the taste of wine. Then I remember you're my name. I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch that clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Atom bombs, Cape Canaveral and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you tell me you love me, I've got a world that, you've got a world that we got a world that swings. I want to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose no bell that rings. Cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow, tied the string around my finger. Janice the nun calls me your mind, and I've got a world that swings. Adam bombs, Cape Canaveral, and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you tell me you love me, I've got a world that, you've got a world that we, we've got a world that swings. A world that swings. Great buddy love, the world's greatest lounge entertainer. Thank you. He was the alter ego of, of Jerry Lewis and the Nutty Professor. It's an awesome scene. It's on YouTube. Somebody set their mattress on fire. Everybody's drunk. Even the pilots. It's eight hours from bottle to throttle, right? Or is it eight feet? I always get confused.
power is starting to show off. It's doing the uh, Ukrainian colors. Porter. Not really. Here's a Gershwin tune though. This this is this is classic Gershwin. It's wonderful. from Funny Face. Thank you. Applause should all go to the Gershwin for writing that. The royalty, too. That's why you practice all those years. Why do robins sing in December? I'm trying to remember whose song this is. Duh. Big band. Just blanking out. Why do robins sing in December? Long before the springtime is due. And even though it's snowing, violets are growing. I know why, and so do you. Why do you breathe a sigh? Every evening, whispering your name as they do. And wind by the feeling, stars are on my ceiling. I know why, and so do you. I can see. 
and it's raining whispering your name Thank you. Thank you so much. I enjoyed your your time with together. You guys were come come well come down just for fun sometime. When you're not on business. You guys are great, buddy. Aren't they great? You can follow us. We I've got a if you want to like watch watch the video or watch us live when you're when you're not here, go to um, howardgoldman.com. I just finally got my act together this week. Way down at the bottom, it says info howardgoldman.com. If you go there, I put like I'm putting like everything there that anybody ever like needs. Like um, it has the the live stream button, so and a countdown to the next Friday night, and then. I'll, 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 I don't have it up there yet, but I'll put a link to like the past episodes and stuff in case you're really bored sometime. But actually, they're kind of fun. I watch them all the time. <laughs> well, we'll be looking forward to that. More than you will be, for the sure. Well, you know, it's all documented, so, you know, if she accuses you of something beyond what you've actually done, you can, you can show her the uh, photo documentation and then use the Buffalo News photographer's reference <laughs> as a character witness. Good night. Thank you very much. Great guys. Watching Lounge Academy. My name's Howard, along with my co hosts, Ryan Lysars and Mary Crims Goldman. Fisher, wherever you are. Somebody loves me. I know Barbara Fisher loves me. I can always comment on Barbara. I wonder who. 
I wonder who she can be. Somebody loves me. I wish I knew who she can be. A shout out may, may be you were meant to be my loving baby. Somebody loves me. I wonder who. I shout out maybe you were meant to be my loving baby somebody loves me I wonder who That's a beautiful Gershwin tune. Thank you. Thank you to the VIP table. I love this part of the night. Everybody's half in the back. The train's gone by. train that keeps flipping me the thumb. I think it's a thumb. Good guy. Good to have support like that. This song's called Sometimes I'm Happy. I'm always happy. Mary's going to sing this one like Billy Holiday. Sometimes we'll do it in this key. Sometimes I'm happy. Sometimes I'm blue. My disposition depends on you. I never minded the rain from the skies. I could find the sun in your eyes. Sometimes I love you, sometimes I hate you, but when I need you, it's on a kind of I love you, because 
that's how I am. So, so what can I do? I'm happy when I'm with you. At Lounge Academy. Sometimes I love you, sometimes I hate you, but when I hate you, it's on a kind of I love you, that's how I am, so, so what can I do, I'm happy when I'm with you. Thank you. That's um, Vincent Yeomans from Hit the Deck. Sounds like a war song. Let's see, that was uh, 19... I hope they don't write any more like that. 1925. I see some professional dancers in the room. I could spot a pro. I could spot a dancer when I see them. It's really easy. They not enter a room. They don't just walk into a room like an ordinary person. They come in with style and grace. They just have a way to fill the room when they walk in. See? Like that. Look at that. You guys are going to win. I'm, I'm betting on you guys. Okay, let's see a quick audition. Let's see what you got, girls. Nice. Very nice. Acrobatic move. Now that's limber. Try doing that in 20 years. If you keep doing it, you'll be able to. Look at this. These kids are good. How about some high kicks? Higher, girls. camera. Here, we got an act for you guys at home. Okay, ready girls? And three and... the way we rehearsed it. You guys are ready. Very nice. I'm very impressed. Very impressive. They are good. This is they have an unfair advantage. I think they're midgets. They're midgets from the uh, from the, the pro circuit.
How do they get so good at that age? That's amazing. Good night, ladies. Now, we, we need some high kicks from you, too, on the way out. Here we go. Jordana, kick and kick. And higher, girls. Kick. Nice. It's like Bruce Lee. be one of those overbearing stage mothers that makes them work 24 hours a day to get that good. Which is okay. That's what it takes to, whatever it takes. That way the kids will bring home the bacon. Gary's not here. We had a big dance instructor here earlier, a good friend of ours. I wish he was here to see this. That's what he does for a living. He's got like... about $50,000 in lessons right there. Maybe they'll get a scholarship. They are, they're, they're, yeah, I mean, they'll be pros if they want to pursue dancing. folks. Great seeing you. Thank you. Imagine being able to pull your leg up like that. If I got hit by that train, I might be able to do that. having fun at Lounge Academy with the dancers. Okay, here we go. Here now for the tap. Can you guys tap dance? Okay. Come on, tap. 
up dancing, girls. This is a tap number. That's it. A little soft shoe. fours. That's where you guys do your thing. See? When I stop, you do a little fill. See, like I'm doing, but you can't hear me. We will raise a family, a boy for you and a girl, ballerina for me. Can't you see? How happy we will be. Well, it's good. We got to work on the tap dance. It's a little hard on the on the uh, carpeting, though. But I know. Yeah, we can't hear it. Do your signature. Oh, that's Zumba. We do that in Zumba. <laughs> that's 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 modern stuff. That. They do it better than I do. <laughs> You're gonna throw your back out. Right, that's the signature move. The signature move. I'll do that right before I go to my chiropractor next month. Well, we've had a great time here at Lounge Academy tonight, made really special by our, by our dancers. I've never seen so much talent in one place. Show your friends what we learned, girls. Look at this. And kick. And kick. And kick. That's it. All in time. Beautiful. What a finish. That was great, girls. Thank you. I'm very impressed. You're not wasting your money on those lessons. You guys are doing great. Nice, look at that, they bow. Just like the stars that they are. <laughs> I wish Marino was here. He'd have them working up all new routines. I just like to see them for fun leading them. Well, thank you, everybody. Good night um, from Lounge Academy. We had a fantastic night. Such a nice night. We we hate to leave, but that's show business.
That's all. That's all. That's all. Sing that's all, girls. That's all. Very good. <laughs> I want to have a I want to have chorus girls. Okay. Good night, everybody. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the short break thing and let it run. I'm, I'm afraid we'll cut off the end of the live stream because, because of the time delay. So I'll put, I'll put this on and we'll just let it roll for a little while. The mics are live.
Yeah, he knows somebody that is. I know a guy who is too, but that wasn't the guy that did it. I know a guy who's a clown, a professional clown. Yeah, isn't that cool? Imagine deciding to be a professional clown. It'd be fun to be good at that. Because it doesn't weigh much, it doesn't weigh you down. We didn't even have to kill him. We just got it somehow. <laughs> 